Well, uh, first off, I just want to thank Darren for allowing me to get my brain flowing at this time. So, uh, but uh, first of all, uh, again, as she stated, my name is Keenan Flowers, and um, I just want to personally thank all of the educators in here and just want all of you guys just to really appreciate all the ed educators that you had in your past, and I personally want to wish you a happy appreciation week. So can all educators, once again, you give yourselves a nice big hand. And as she stated, my name is Keenan Flowers, and I'm the music teacher at Our Lady of Perpetual Help Mission Grammar School, located literally in the heart of Mission Hill and Roxbury. I'm a self-taught, accomplished musician on five different instruments, and they're as follows. The piano, the guitar, the saxophone, and the violin. I am also a composer and arranger. I also compose original music which my students also perform. One glance at my life, and well, it'll be obvious that I'm literally surrounded 24 seven by music, which you will find out in a quick minute. Also, I brought along an old friend that some of us may be familiar with and others, well, it's time for an introduction. This friend tonight that I brought with me is, is world renowned, homemade at times, is known for its squeaks, and sometimes it makes you just want to say, you know what, I quit. Ladies and gentlemen, please allow me to introduce or reintroduce to you my friend, the recorder. <laughs> so I hope everybody's in a good mood for some nice classic music. And um, since this is live, uh, I plead no copyright infringement. Okay. <laughs> Well, you get the point. All right. <laughs> Did I also mention that I'm not really accomplished on the recorder, too? Yeah, yeah that would be number six on the list, but anyway. <laughs> so by now, I'm sure most of you can remember that the recorder was also a big part of our major music classes when we were growing up, for most of us. And also, we were introduced to many other things, such as the choral classes, and if we were really lucky, one of my personal favorites, band class which also was included symphonic, marching band, concert band, or if you were literally in the marching band, see you at the basketball game and pep band. <laughs> I can also recall many of you as well that some of the requirements that were set before us was something just as simple like uh, hmm, clapping rhythms, maybe singing something like solfege, like hmm, do, re, mi, fa, hmm. okay, got you right there. So you thought I was gonna sing, not quite. And also, of course, playing our good old friend, the recorder. Doing all of this, of course, most of us were considered to be an easy A in most of our music classes. This is, of course, in no way an insult that I'm delivering to some of us who's taught music or currently is teaching under the traditional umbrella in music nowadays in class. In fact, you're looking at a product of traditional music as we speak. And of course, I am also sure that as I look out among most of you, that you're a product of that same education as well. While these traditional components are intensely important, I knew that there needed to be a bridge, thank you, Brandon, <laughs> that needed to be constructed, connecting the traditional components to the modern techniques with music education. And of course, I'm sure we remember these again. <laughs> All right, thought I had to do a dance. Oh, take it back. So today's music class has evolved into many outlets, where its primary standards include innovation and creativity. And why don't I present to you a little demonstration of what a finished product looks like in one of my music classes. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to present to you the dynamic vocal group, soon to be on the Grammy Awards, <laughs> official. Rapping 
for the ladies that call me is Oh snap, tighter than a fitted cop Snap back, make a history, look at me, how you like that? Stephanie spitting like destiny, but I'm a singer Single lady vacancy on my ring finger Checking out my role, it's about that time Official book is seen, graduated on prime K-E-V, cooler than the Reezy I'm a dealer with the figure, my bling are freezy Feel me? Guess who's back, man? Morgan and Pac, man So cool, I'm frozen Roman, you know this I can do harmony, I can do melody The next big thing, the people call me Jack It's the capital D, there is you know me Spending some time with some drinks, Jerry D.E. It's Jada, and I'm killing all those haters Making rhymes with my crew You know how we do, it's nothing new Shot town, I guess down, no joke, no clown Superior your vocalist Hold it down since I was six Leah, the girls wanna be ya Except for Julia Number one singer Little D, younger to them all I be shooting whoop like LeBron Whoop like LeBron Got attitude, you know who I do The youngest in the crew Official is the crew You know how we do It's officially over Time for how we do Oh, but there's a little more. Thank you. Just a little bit of a little marketing technique we embedded into this. this. This is all past. Now, unfortunately, that album isn't available after this presentation, so you cannot find it in my car nor on iTunes as of yet. <laughs> but again, what you just saw right there is just an example of what my students learn and also what they themselves create. And of course, I know by now you're wondering, how in the world can you do all of this just because you, know, you came up under the tradition of the recorder? You know, you, you sing a little bit of soul fetch here and there, but I'll tell you one thing, little do most of us fail to realize, most of the kids that we teach, they know about, about all of these things already. And so all they need to do is just have the chance and the opportunity to prove it and also, as you just saw, to show it. So with these in mind, I've embedded the use of technology within my classroom. I've included the use of GarageBand, which is, a, which is a multimedia based software which enables students to not only construct and compose original music, but also display video um, quality, as you just saw, as the artists they themselves do in the media. Additionally, they are taught the techniques of lyric and vocal composition and vocal arrangement. Also, instrumental practices and performances using both physical and digital instrumentation. Mm, digital instrumentation. I think I'll talk about that a little bit later on down the line because that doesn't sound like it exists, but it does because we are now in the technology age. Raise your hand if you now are carrying a cell phone. Believe it or not, your phone can also be an instrument. Anybody ever heard of the numbers? You know, when you dial them out, you know, there's a little tone. Do, 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 do. Yes, that's actually sounds of music that you can create with only dialing numbers. But also, I also plan to produce and compose original and covered compositions which the students themselves perform. And of course, in many cases, the students choose and perform and create their own sets within the shows themselves. For example, I remember just last year for our spring Christmas concert, excuse me, our spring concert, where our concert was themed after the concerts night at the movies. Now what that means is, is that the students had an opportunity to go ahead and choose a movie of their choice and portray it in musical form. And I can actually see one of the teachers in the building right now, so I won't point you out, don't worry. But in this particular class, K-1, they decided to choose the movie Toy Story. Now, I'm sure most of us were not that old. We remember the movie Toy Story. But they chose that particular movie to portray certain characters or toys, if you will, and decided to give their name the Toy Box and perform the also classic and friendly you got a friend in me. Mm -hmm. And I'll stop right there again. <laughs> now, this year, I plan to produce another round of that same theme. This time, it'll be Concert Night at the Movies, the sequel. Not available in theaters, though. <laughs> 
other organizations I found to be very helpful and innovative and also what I'm responsible for would be a step team, an urban dance team, and also the vocal group official which you just witnessed. Now in many cases you can probably say that well my students they're artists and you can call me Mr. Grammy Association both honoring and critiquing their work. Now again I want to go ahead and introduce someone to you all who you probably may be familiar with or maybe not be familiar with right now at this point. But this image that you see right now is a picture of myself. You see, one thing that many people may not know about me is that I was a very, very low-key individual, almost to the point where I did not exist. I never opened my mouth. I never said a word to anyone, nor did I even find it necessary to even speak a word because I was afraid of the voice that I had. All the while, while I was growing up, I noticed that, you know, I kept, I started to capture the image of music without necessarily reiterating or portraying it. But it was until one year when I was in fourth grade where I met my music teacher at the time, Ms. Bryant. Excuse me, getting a little emotional because this is actually a personal story, something that I think as educators we can all use ourselves as demonstrators to our students to say, hey, we're real people. And so I actually tell the story to my students to let them know, you know, Mr. Flowers, he's been there. But Ms. Bryant echoed these words to me because, again, I was considered a mute. Keenan, if you do not open your mouth and you choose to live in the shadow of nowhere, no one will know you exist or have a voice. But it was that moment that the seed was planted. And then I went on to become someone who not only performed at musical events, yes, that's me, I was cool, <laughs> but I also ran track. I participated in also sport-like activities such as basketball, little league football, and soccer. And right then and there, that's when I realized that life began to make more sense because my teacher decided to innovatively place something inside of me that I never knew existed. And now what you see standing before you is a young man who's not only a music teacher who also inspires others, but I also am an owner of my own record label. But not only am I an owner of a record label, I am the co, I am the primary engineer, the writer and the ranger, and also an artist. Now, one thing that I noticed that will always stick with me is those words that Ms. Bryant echoed to me. Now I have a voice, and now I'm using that voice to speak to you all this evening. And then Ms. Bryant, if you're watching this, wherever you may be, I want to thank you. Because what you see tonight, ladies and gentlemen, is an example of a teacher who not only decided to take the extra mile to speak to someone who didn't exist, but to birth something that was already alive in me. And I'm challenging every one of you to be just as innovative and bold as not only myself, as I'm trying to be, as if, it, if anything, but to be determined and willing to make a product of someone who's not afraid to be themselves. Thank you. <laughs>